Hello everyone and welcome to this new video, my name is Yuka and today we will talk about PvP on Starcraft 2. I will explain you how to defend a 2 boss all-in. You will see in this game I will play against a 2 boss adept. So I will explain you what you need to cut when you see a 2 boss all-in, how to see a 2 boss all-in of course and how to defend it properly. Let's go! We are on Disco Blue Bath and the blue protoss at the top left corner and there is another protoss at the bottom right corner. We'll go in my vision and I will explain you the opening and of course my build order. Okay, let's start with a pylon at 14 at this position. It's really useful to do this kind of wall. So pylon here, gateway, gateway. Uh, because you can hold the true adept pressure and you will see some of, uh, of this kind of pressure in this game. Okay, um, gateway at 16. So first roll a boost on the nexus. Like this, I have a little space here uh, to go outside of my base. Gaz at 17, like this, and second gas at 18. Then I will scout the cannon rush. Sometimes, uh, <laughs> sometimes there is uh, there is a cannon rush, especially on this map. So it's simple. After the second gas, just go at this position, check for the cannon rush everywhere. If there is no cannon rush, simply put your second gateway and go to the scout. Uh, now I will put two probes in this gas, one probe in this gas. Okay, second gateway is here. You will see one probe in this gas. I will make my cybernetic core at 20 instantly after the gateway. And now I will put two probes in each gas. Okay, I scout my opponent. And I want to I want to know if there is a proxy uh, or um, or um, this kind of opening. So is he going to um, something like two adept, two stalkers, sentry stalkers? Uh, I want to check this. Uh, don't forget the second pylon, like me. So second pylon here. It's really useful to put it at this position because you can do, for example. Um, uh, shield battery at this position and it's very useful against uh, Oracle. And you can hide uh, some tech. Why not? So my units will be Sentry Stalkers. Uh, Sentry Stalker, it's really useful because you can have a really fast scout uh, and you will be able to hold almost everything with uh, this kind of opening. So as you can see, I scout him. In Chrono Boost, he's Cybernetic Core. He tried to, to block me here. Uh, the, First pylon here, second pylon here, and third pylon here. So this is okay. Um, it doesn't look like a proxy, but I will scout again. So now what I will do is a pylon here. So this kind of pylon is really good because you can see what units are uh, going outside of the um, the two gateway. If there is a double chrono boost, it's probably a two adept. Uh, if uh, you see only one unit out of the, the gateway, uh, like uh, one uh, one stalker, it's probably a sentry stalker. And most of the time, if there is a two stalker, you will see two stalker going uh, out the, the gateway. But if you if you can, just check as, as soon as your uh, your units go out of your gateways, check um, check his base, and you will see uh, them at the same timing. So here. It's a stalker sentry because there is one sentry. It's uh, you, you, you can't really do a two sentry opening or sentry sentry adept is uh, really really uncommon. So here it's a sentry stalker. I can cancel my pylon and what I will do is double adept. Why double adept? Simply because with a sentry stalker uh, opening, I will have enough time to um, to counter me. So against a Sentry Stalker opening, I love doing a double adept after my Sentry Stalker. But if he does something like double adept or double stalkers, I will simply do double stalker. So as you can see, I did only one chrono boost on my economy and I keep my um, my energy for this kind of um, of build. So of course here it's two adept. If he does something else, I will probably chrono boost my Symmetic Core and uh, chrono boost my Nexus. Okay. And with the Sentry Stalker opening, you can expand fast because it's it's a really um, defensive opening, so you can totally expand. 
uh, there is almost no risk of all in in this kind of situation. Against a double uh, double stalker uh, opening, uh, I do a fast robo, and against a double uh, adept, I will expand fast, but uh, I will be, uh, yes, I, I will do um, two more units before uh, before expanding because it's a fast tech. So as you can see, I go to the opponent base. Now I can uh, do my um, my sentry to scout him. But to be honest, when I do double adept after sentry soldier, I will simply uh, scout a little bit later because my adept will be my uh, my first scout. Okay, so now I do two more units. So sentry soldier. I think that sentry soldier is really really good because you will have uh, two sentry to scout him. You will see every switch of tech because you will have a constant scout. Okay, so I try to go to his base. So as you can see after my unit um, 5 and 6, I do my robo and I will scout him with my phoenix. I will add a forge if I see an expand. Don't do a forge if you don't see an expand. Really, 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 don't do them. So now I will try to kill something. So if I can't go in his base, I will simply kill his, uh, his sentry. It's a good pick. It's just a good pick. So if you can't really do anything, just try to, to kill a, a unit like this. Just try to kill it. Uh, here, oh, I did a little miss on my rally point. So as you can see, there is an oracle, but, but an oracle uh, this timing, when you see a sentry uh, first as you need, it's obviously um, a fake. Uh, a fake oracle it's a uh, it's an hallucination so with my phoenix i scout him so i see that the robotic is here uh robotic is here only two gateways is doing some stalker it's really good if he does uh, stalkers simply because it's a trash unit in the mid and late game in pvp so the more stalker he does uh, the better it's for you and there is no forge and he does another stalker he does another stalker, uh, so okay. At this timing, I can do my forge uh, because I'm safe. I'm safe. He can't really attack now. There is no signs of um, of, un of big unit production. I try to attack him again with my adept. As you can see, I go in his base. I check. Uh, I want to find his army. I want to force him to do some mistake. So here, as you can see, he's ke he keeps his um, his probe in his base. So this is really, really bad in terms of economy for him. I try to do some damage. I don't kill any any probes, but no problem. Uh, in terms of economy, I'm way, way better at the moment. As you can see, I have the same amount of, um, of probes, but I have my forge and I already have my plus one started and my first immortal is coming. So it's a good position for me. It's a really, really good position for me. Okay, let's go back to my vision. So as you can see, I try to scout constantly with my hallucination. Try to do it, and as soon as you see a massive uh, gateway production, it's an all-in. An all-in is coming at this timing. So here, I try to be careful because it can be a uh, two immortal uh, war prism drop. It can totally be this kind of opening. So with your phoenix, try to find the immortal. If you see that the immortal is still uh, here and this is uh, that there is only one immortal, it's okay. The drop isn't coming. The drop isn't coming. Okay, I try to scout him again and try to find gateway, uh, but no gateway. Only the, the third gateway is started, but the Twig Council has just started. So it's okay. He will try to do a push in the Twig Council timing. And this timing will be a little late. It will be a little late. Okay, so now I can just make more immortal. Just make more immortal. And add your Twig Council because you see, uh, you saw the Twig Council from your opponent. So you can do it. You can simply do it. And scout, 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 scout. It's probably the most, most important thing. Try to never cut your pro production. Simply never do a mass gateway production if you don't need it. Okay, I keep my two immortal at this position uh, in case of, um, of uh, immortal drop. But here I will switch them. So I have my shield battery. I can uh, warp units. So free stalker will be more useful here. 
and my, stalk, my immortal will be more, more useful at this position. I scout him again with my, get, uh, with my phoenix and look, there is a gateway explosion, so it's simple. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, probably uh, seven gateway uh, that are made. The trade council uh, start attack, so it can be at this timing it can be charged or um, glaive. At the moment, glaive is really really strong, uh, so it's probably glaive. But uh, but at the moment I really don't know. I simply really don't know. So okay, okay okay okay. I have I scout him. So now I will make uh, I will do um, gateway explosion two. I need it. I simply need it. And I will just cut my immortal production after my third immortal. When you see an all-in coming, an all-in based, based on uh, charge or uh, glaive or something like this, you don't really need immortal. You don't need them. In this kind of situation, you need adept and you need archons. Archons are strong against both um, both tech, so you need it. You need them. Just one archon is more than enough to hold them. Never forget it. Never forget it. Okay? So just do your gateway explosion as him and play mirror. You don't need to expand if it doesn't expand. Simply. As you can see, I constantly scout with my phoenix and I try to find his army and if his army is coming to my base. Simply. So with this phoenix, I scout again. I try to check his tech. So yes, there is uh, another gateway. And I will probably try. Yes, I find the I found the the war prism. So when the war prism go goes out of the um, robotic, Zorlin is coming. It's simple. Zorlin is coming now. So as you can see, I will check the map. He has three soldier. He has uh, two immortal, four sentry, and only adept. Rest of units are adepts. So now I will add shield batteries. Simply add shield batteries. So I have uh, one, two, I have how many gateway? One, two, three, four, five. Only five gateways. So yes, I'm a little bit late, but I have shield batteries. I have the advantage of defense. It's really important to have this kind of advantage, and I will block my wall. Uh, don't forget that my tech is charge. I think that charge is the best tech in defense. Charge is really the best tech in defense. It's good against Glaive and it's good against Charge Lot. So now simply try to split your units and try to take a concave uh, to have the best fight. Simply try to have the best fight. And split your um, shield batteries. One, two, three. You can do five shield batteries if you feel unsafe. But don't forget to make units. Never forget to make units and it will be really, really okay. As you can see, I do one Archons before, uh, before it's coming. One Archons and more Zilot. Simply more Zilot. Let's see, I will do more Zilot as soon as I can. He's trying to go in my base, so I have blocked this path. He can't really go in my natural. And I will use my Golden Shield to have a better defense. Simply try to attack like this. You see, I have a good concave. He can't really take a good fight. He did a big, big mistake with, with his War Prism. Uh, the War Prism should be at this position. <laughs> its ray should be at this position. So now I try to focus his raw prism and look. The fight is simply, simply, simply really easy. Uh, Archons is a good tank. It's a good tank and is really good against Adept in this situation. But against Zero Charge, it will be really, really good too. Don't forget, I have only my plus one. I cut my immortal production as soon as I scissor in and simply go directly to Archons. Try to have at least one Archons, uh, split your shield batteries and take a good fight by waiting him in a perfect position like a concave. And as soon as you hold his push, you can simply take your third base, start again your immortal production, cancel this of course, and start your plus two attack and simply play the macro game with a good, good advantage. Never forget that at the moment in PvP, you will almost every time have to deal with a two basal in. Uh, never, never try to take your third base if your opponent didn't take his third base. It's probably the most important thing at the moment in PvP. 
I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section below. You can, of course, subscribe to my channel. Thank you again for watching. Bye.